Welcome to Build with Google Cloud, where we build reference architectures. In this video, we will build an e-commerce platform on Google Cloud. What are your options? Stay with me to find out. Let's say you're a retailer that sells pet products, shoes, cars, anything. Did you know that digital commerce platform can be built and modernized in multiple ways? I am Priyanka Vargadia, developer advocate here at Google Cloud, and today let's see what your options are to build a digital e-commerce platform on Google Cloud. You ready? Let's go! First, you can build your own e-commerce platform on Google Cloud. Why does this make sense? because it provides the agility to create new capabilities using data insights and access to machine learning and AI tools within Google Cloud. There are two ways to build your own platform. You could either migrate your existing e-commerce platform or modernize using containers. Migrate means lifting and shifting your current platform as is into the cloud. This is the lowest risk and fastest way to get to cloud. It is suitable for custom-built e-commerce stack leveraging heavy OSS or running on-premises. And once you've migrated, you are on your path to modernization. You could choose to migrate and improve where you can upgrade and improve or optimize using containerized approach. This means you're willing to move to containers and are gradually moving to Google Cloud managed services such as GKE. It sets the stage for a more seamless modernization path to microservices on GKE. If the goal is to modernize your commerce application platform completely for benefits of cloud and speed to market, then you would re-architect to adopt containers using microservices architecture. This helps you shift focus to creating those differentiated customer experiences for digital and omni-channel revenue growth. We'll come back to architect the commerce migration and modernization, but before we do that, let's also check out the other options. The second option is you can create a headless commerce platform on Google Cloud. This is where you actually decouple the front end, the mobile app, the CMS, etc., from your back end or your commerce layer. This approach provides flexibility to your marketing teams to quickly alter front-end elements to run campaigns, promotions, and create most advanced customer experience on your front-end. You're building front-end experience on Google Cloud and are integrating with commerce backends from Google Cloud Marketplace offering partners. This unique approach offers the benefits of the agility to launch or change highly personalized experiences flexibility to upgrade, update, or replace your dependent systems, and scale different parts of solutions independent of each other. As you can imagine, this approach has a low total cost of ownership, smaller IT teams, and is not constrained by a monolithic roadmap and timelines to offer new storefront features. Third option, you could use out-of-the-box SaaS solution on Google Cloud Marketplace, such as Shopify, BigCommerce, or HCL Commerce. This will work for you if you require minimum customizations and can take advantage of Google Cloud for Customer 360 and Data Insights-driven analytics. Which of these approaches are you leaning towards to build your e-commerce platform and why? Share in the comments. Let's dive into the first two approaches. Build your own and headless commerce, one by one to understand what it takes to build and which one makes sense for your use case. Now let's architect the build your own, migrate and improve approach. This means you're not just migrating, but also looking to break down a legacy monolith commerce application into a set of microservices that can help you gain agility in launching those new features, innovate and improve customer experience by leveraging data insights that are powered by AI and ML capabilities. In order to do this, you're going to need to migrate and improve using containerization on Google Kubernetes engine. Let's see how. You would deploy your application servers and your database as services in containers inside a GKE cluster. 
You can accelerate this process of moving to GKE by using Migrate for Anthos, Google's migration automation tool. All your static content, including the images, media assets, web files, will be stored in cloud storage. Any other application systems that still exist on premises will be hooked up via a dedicated interconnect cloud VPN or API management. Now, let's see the request flow. The user makes a request from their phone, website, or chat application, which then gets resolved by Cloud DNS to a global Anycast IP address for cloud load balancing. Cloud Armor works alongside load balancing to provide DDoS protection and web application firewall that detects and blocks layer 7 attacks. Recapture Enterprise provides bot protection and API Defense provides protection for abuse of APIs. Combination of Cloud Armor, Apigee API Defense, and Recapture Enterprise offer the web application and API protection. Once the request is validated by these, it is then sent to the web server. The web server then grabs the static content, such as your images, CSS, your JavaScript, to render that page from cloud storage. It also stores them in cloud CDN for next requests, which helps with performance and latency. Next, web server would need to interact with the app server for business logic, such as, is this item in store? The internal load balancing between the web and application servers help distribute the load. Once the request lands on the app server, it interacts with the database to get the response. Yes, the item is in store and there are four more left, or something like that. Gets this information and then sends it back to the user via web servers. Now, if the request requires the app server to gather information from a service that is on premises, then it can make a call to the service via an API through Apigee API Gateway or VPN over the internet or just direct connectivity to that data center. If the request was a search or recommendations, then app server interfaces with the Google retail search or the recommendations API to present the appropriate results to the user. Architecturally, build your own, migrate when improve, provides you the flexibility to add features, ability to scale easily by adding more GKE clusters during traffic spikes. It also offers applications the security using a combination of Cloud Armor, Load Balancer, Recapture, and API Defense. From the business perspective, the build your own and migrate and improve approach enables the integration with the data platform, which creates a strong closed loop between the data platform and the commerce platform. You can collect the first party customer data from shopper interactions on their modern digital commerce platform to use in your data platform for predictive analytics and marketing activation. You can also gain insights from data in data platform to offer personalized shopping experiences and promotions on the digital commerce site. Are you ready to migrate and improve? We've got a link to the documentation below to help you out. Now, how would you architect your migration as is or lift and shift your e-commerce platform to Google Cloud? Say your priority is to move to Google Cloud as quickly as possible, or you have a homegrown OSS stack based on premises in e-commerce platform that is unique and works well, and you just want to migrate. That means, you just want to migrate as is without making any changes. Just get to the cloud so you can take that first step towards modernization. For an as is migration like this, we recommend migrating to compute engine virtual machines. Let's see how to architect this. Your request flow pretty much stays the same except for your web and application servers and your database. You will create your web and application servers on compute engine managed instance groups, which will scale based on the number of requests you receive. You will also deploy your primary and secondary databases on compute engine instances. 
This architecture offers the ability to scale the web and app tiers independently using the managed instance groups and provides low latency responses back to the end customer to keep them engaged in their buying journey. You have the same application security using a combination of Cloud Armor, Load Balancer, ReCAPTCHA, and API Defense. In addition, it allows you as a retailer to quickly meet unexpected user traffic spikes without having a large size deployment initially, but automatically scale easily up and down enabled by your configuration policies. Are you ready to migrate your e-commerce application as is? We've got a link in the documentation to help you out. Now, let's say you have migrated to Google Cloud using GKE or Compute Engine, or you're building an entire modernized e-commerce platform from scratch. How would you go from here to modernized, fully containerized microservices architecture? Let's see. All your request flow stays the same as you saw earlier. What changes is that now you're going to think about smaller services and separate them out into four layers. A presentation layer, which could be your single page application builder and content. A services layer, which would include services such as sessions, search, account, inventory, orders, and anything else that you can think of. The storage layer, which would be your storage choices for those services. There could be different storages based on the kind of service. For example, Cloud SQL or Spanner for inventory products and maybe Firestore for sessions. Cache layer would be your transient cache using memory store to access recently queried data without querying the storage layer again. You can now see the flexibility that this architecture allows you to have. You can add and deploy any new services anytime without affecting any other services. You can also have different teams working on different services in different programming languages. Lots more flexibility, both from the development side and from the business side, which leads to happy developers and happy customers. And you have enabled your business to have a strong closed loop between the data platform and the commerce platform to understand customer behavior and offer personalized experiences. Another huge advantage of this approach is the seamless integration with other Google Cloud services such as Workspace, Maps, GPay, Mobile, Android, Chrome devices, and more. Are you ready to start your e-commerce modernization journey? We've got a link to a sample code repository for you to get started. Now, let's take a deep dive into the headless commerce solution. As a retailer, you might want to own and control the front end for providing an engaging and differentiated shopping experience and leverage the ready-to-use back-end commerce building blocks for capabilities such as product catalog, pricing, promotions, cards, shipping, accounts, and other things. In this fast-paced world where user behavior changes every day, headless commerce approach is increasingly preferred for speed to market. You can easily launch new experiences quickly and benefit from innovations and backend capabilities added by our partners on Google Cloud Marketplace, such as commerce tools. How would you architect this? Well, let's see. The user would have the same secured experience using web application and API security solution. The front end is deployed on GKE or Cloud Run and can use cloud storage for static assets and Firestore or Cloud SQL for your dynamic storage and database options. Interacting with the Recommendations API and Retail Search for an engaging product discovery and shopping experience that would reduce search abandonment and increase sales conversions. Commerce Tools platform from Marketplace serves as the backend for commerce operations. It provides over 300 APIs for e-commerce backend needs such as your products, categories, orders, and other such things. This approach is an alternative to build or buy approach as it offers a right mix of both approaches to realize a solution that enables brand differentiation, flexibility, and agility. To help you get started with headless commerce, we've built an end-to-end -end demo. Check it out below and let us know how it goes.
We just looked at the different options to build a modern e-commerce platform on Google Cloud. Depending on your situation, you can choose to migrate as is to compute engine VMs, migrate and improve using containers, build an entirely modern microservices-based architecture creating containerized services, or use partners offered services to adopt headless commerce approach. Any direction you take is a success and a great start to gain agility in launching new features, innovation, and improving customer experience by leveraging data insights powered by AI and ML and tools such as Retail Search and Recommendations AI. Now, it's your turn. Go build the headless commerce demo with the documentation and a full sample code repository linked below. If you like this video, then I hope you completely destroy those like and subscribe buttons to let us know. I cannot wait to build more stuff with you.